Our chip leader is a former mechanical engineer, 28-year-old Justin Young. He's got 7.6 million. The flamboyant Chino Ream in second place with four and a half million. And the 22-year-old Evan McNiff, he's got 4.4. Steve Sung with 3.6. And in fifth place right now, Amnon Philippi from New York with just over two million. When he's going to take home over 1.5 million. The Andes are 10,000. Blinds are 50 and 100. The cards are flying around the table, and here we go. Once again, you prevailing on the World Poker Tour four out of these five guys in their 20s. 22-year-old Evan McNiff first to act. He's got a big hand, ace, yes. 10 of clubs. Man, he's going to raise it, makes it 250,000 to go. Highly aggressive Chino, going to fold his hand this time. Well, Amnon looks down at a 10-9 of hearts on the button. He's going to make the call. Steve Sung with a queen jack mucks that, as does our chip leader, Justin. So here we go. Flop comes Jack, 7-3. Gives him on a gut shot straight draw, but Evan out in front with the ace high. Action's on him. And he's going to make the continuation bet. 325,000. Amnon with the inside straight draw. Wow. Now Amnon, normally a very solid player. Gambling here, maybe and perhaps a bad card comes off. He can take the pot away from the guy on the turn. Let's see if that happens as the deuce of spade comes off. Yeah, Evan neither, checks. Neither player got lucky with that card. Now will Amnon fire? No, he's checking yeah, as well. Takes the free card. And a 10 comes off. Evan now out in front. <laughs> as both players have made two 10s, but Evan has the better kicker. He's got the ace kicker. This could and be a problem for Amnon. Well, Vince, Evan making what we call a value bet here, 820,000. Value bets when you have less than top pair and you're betting a hand that you feel pretty certain is the best hand in hopes that your opponent calls you. Whew. And that's exactly the case right here. And the way this hand was played, Vince, it be tough for Amnon to get away from this hand. Amnon, a very tough player from New York. He's 34 years old. We call him Guts, not only because of his pure heart style, but also because he loves the game of Guts. Right now, All right, I call. Well, hopefully he doesn't have guts because he's going to make the bad call. Well, as you see, Evan it confidently turns up the two tens with the ace kicker and is going to take down that pot. And I'm not going to be happy with the way he played that pot. Call with a gut shot on the straight, didn't bet on the turn, then paid him off on the river. Three strikes and you're out. Evan taking down the pot. Maybe I redeem myself a little bit. See, you don't look so bad there, do you? That I do not. All right, Amnon really getting down to the short stack. Big problems for him right now. Cards go around again, action going to Chino. Yeah, looks down on an eight, six and Whoa. folds. And Amnon going all in, he's got a pair of nines. Every player in the world will move all in with two nines in his yep, spot right here. Going. But unfortunately for him, Steve Sung has picked up two kings right behind him. What a time to get the Cowboys. He could break his player on his right. Well, the question is, Vince, do you raise here now, or do you want to try to trap some of these blinds into coming in this pot as well? He's just going to call here with the two kings. Oh, this is unbelievable. Our chip leader, Justin Young, finds two aces in the small blind. Incredible. The weapons of mass destruction when you need it the most. How much you got left? Well, an incredible scenario here. Well, Vince, this is what we call a cooler in the poker world. You get three big pairs like this out. Unbelievable. Absolute nightmare. Justin saying, how much you got there, sucker on my right? I'm all in. Well, Justin going all in with the two aces. Evan going out. Steve quickly calling. He yes. is not going to like it. Unbelievable. Steve Sung must be thinking this is deja vu all over again. A year ago at our WPT oh, final table in Spain, he found two kings. A guy in the blind found aces. He got knocked out there. Could be the same thing happening right now. Let's see. Well, in the history of the World Poker Tour, we've seen two or more players go out on the same hand on three occasions. Could it happen again tonight? Well, what an opportunity for our chip leader, Justin Young, the former mechanical engineer. Stay tuned. We're coming back with the conclusion of this hand in just a moment here on the World Poker Tour. Online tournament fees can add up quickly. 
breaking news. Every tournament is rake-free for the month of April on WPT Global. Huh. Where? On WPT Global. Why? We are crazy. Sign up by clicking the link in the description and play tournaments with no fees at WPT Global. Use bonus code YT53 and we will match your first deposit dollar for dollar. No rake. No fees. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. We are back here on the World Poker Tour, and what a pot we are seeing. Three-way action, a couple all-ins. We have aces, kings, and nines. Well, an incredible scenario here. Our chip leader, Justin Young, has found two aces in the blind. Steve Sung all-in with two kings. Amnon Philippi all-in with two nines. And if two players are eliminated on the same hand, whoever started the pot with more chips gets the higher finishing position. That means if the two aces stand up, Amnon would finish in fifth place. Steve Sung would be our fourth place finisher. Come on, baby. Here's the flop. Will it be magical? Well, it's 7 4 4. Justin pumps his fist. He understands that the only way he can lose this pot is if a king or a nine comes up. His wife Morgan holding her breath as well. What an opportunity for him to take oh, a yeah. massive chip catch lead nine. with three players left. At least catch a nine. I'll, I'll, I'll finish 50. Can catch it nine. be this easy for Justin? He's got to sweat two more cards. Here's 4th Street. Well, three of clubs comes off. We are down to the river. King or nine. King or nine. Steve needs a king to win the pot. Amnon wins a nine king to win the pot. Anything king else. And Justin Young will be a whopping chip leader with three players left. King or nine. Yeah, so far he is walking through the daisy patch. Everything just fine with a huge opportunity of knocking out two fine players. River Cart coming up. And Jack comes off. He's done it. So the two guys that are making their third WPT final table appearance go out on the same hand. Amnon Philippi, our fifth place finisher. Steve Sung is going to be our fourth place finisher. That's right. Steve Sung going to pick up close to 400,000. And this puts him over a million dollars on the World Poker Tour. He is the 99th WPT Poker Made Millionaire. We are down to three players. It's getting closer, man. We're coming back for more in just nice a moment. Hand, sir. You know, that gets you in the face. You knocked out two of my boys, but I mean, somebody's got to win, right? That's true. Yeah, Justin Young. I don't know. What am I saying? Barry had a child with Chuck Norris. I know. I'm sorry I went there. But Justin Young does look like a combination of Chuck Norris and Barry Greenstein. Yes, he does. That's what I meant, Mike. Exactly what I meant. You get the picture. But what a happy guy he is right now. He's got 13 million in front of him. Well, all three of these guys happy now because the least are going to walk out of here with was over 540,000. And the winner is going to take home over 1.5 million in a WPT title. All right. Back to the grind. Justin Young. Our chip leader in first position to act with the button. He's got a five deuce. And he's going to limp in and make the call here on the button with the five deuce of diamonds. Now the 22-year-old San Diego native, yes. Evan McNiff. We'll see a flop, please. With a 6-5, going to make the call. And Chino with the 8-6 says, OK, give us the flop. Oh, it is junk time here. Well, the flop comes 9-5-4. Evan taking the lead now with his two fives and a six kicker. So he's going to bet 175,000. Chino, of course, has a gut shot straight draw. That's good enough for him to call. Now our chip leader contemplating. Wow, I'm surprised by this call. One guy's bet, another guy's call. To call a second pair and bottom kicker, a little unusual. They are slopping oh. around, but it's going to pay off for Justin. He hits two pair with That's a deuce. What a card by Justin there. By both Evan and Chino check. Action now on Justin. Part of the problem in hitting that second pair is it does give a straight possibility on the board. But if you call with two fives and hit fives and deuces, you are going to bet Justin has done so. 650,000. Evan going out. And now Chino just has a gut shot straight draw. A seven would give him a straight. A three would give him a straight also. So he has a two-way straight draw, as we say. But nice not going to gamble here. Gives Justin credit for having something and gives it up. It's only I have a small window. I play better. Good restraint there. He almost pushed. But look at this. I got to take a look at the wonder cam. He would have hit his seven. He knew oh. he should have gambled a two way straight throw. It's not unlike him to push when he has nothing. So it could have happened. Uh, could have, would have, should have, I guess. So Justin dodging a bullet there by Chino not calling him. All right, right back on Justin Young. Out of Vegas right now, 28 years old, chip leader. Getting in good stroke right now. He's got king four. He's going to raise. Well, he's on a roll, as we say right now, Vance. So he is going to raise it. But 
It's a three-handed poker game. You look down at an ace jack here. You got to like that hand. Let's see what Evan does with it. Justin made it 260, and Evan's going to pop it up, making it 825,000 to go with his ace jack. Well, Chino Ream now has the ace nine of hearts, but the pot's been raised and re-raised. Come on, man. Whoa, boy. He whispers all in. Quick fall by Justin. Unbelievable play by Chino here. I mean, both players in front of him raise the pot, and to move all in with ace nine, oof, what a play. And I'll tell you one thing, if Evan gets the moxie and makes this call, it could be lights out for Chino Ream. That's about 2.9 in addition. This is a heavy raise by Chino. Evan doesn't have that many more chips either. I really think you think I'm tilting. Call. You got Evan it, Chris. What a call by Evan McNiff right here. I need that one. Now, whether or not he wins this pot, Vince, I'll tell you one thing. You got to take your hat off and salute the great call he made here. We saw him make a bobble or two at this final table, but I'm telling you, the guy's got some poker instincts that can make a call like this. Well, he's got a big chance to redeem himself after laying down those queens. He makes a great call right now, and he's in position to knock out the very aggressive Chino Ream. Well, that's a massive pot, nearly 7.7 .7 million in this pot. If Evan wins this pot, we'll be down to heads up play. This is the first time I've ever been nervous in the moment. Chino's gonna have to hit lightning to win it. Evan with the better kicker, flopping. Oh, let's come A7-7. Seven, seven. That's a good flop for Chino. I, I will chop it with you. Instead of a nine, I'll take a queen. Because he can get a split pot out of this if it comes ace, king, queen, or seven. He can take the lead with a nine, of course. I will take a queen instead of a nine, kid. I just want to be He said, I'll be happy to chop it with you. I would think so. Especially if your tournament life is on the line. Oh, a nine comes oh, off. Boy. The pure joker falls off on the turn. And now Evan must catch a jack on the river to win this pot. Or Chino Ream is going to double up. Unbelievable. Well, this would be pure luck for Chino right here if he could take the worst hand like this and capture a $7.7 .7 million pot. And the three comes off on the river. Chino Ream has done it. He is outdrawn Evan McNiff. Lane Flack, WPT champ, just came in laughing and smiling, and uh, maybe Chino thought he was lucky because he went over and gave him a hug. And Evan has got to be talking to himself. It's just no safe haven here at Bellagio. Great call, Evan. I was squeezing there. Thank you. He plays so good and so bad at the same time. Three players remain. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. A million to runner-up, nearly a million. The third place finisher, 540,000. Right now, Justin Young is out in front with about 14 million. Chino with 7-6. Evan McNiff is on the morphine drip with just yeah. about 565,000. Evan just took a horrible beat with Ace Jack against Ace Nine. I'm all in. He moves all in with a 10-4. And unfortunately yeah. for him, Chino's got the 10-9. Oh. So Chino has him dominated here. Whatever. I have the best hand. <laughs> Evan with the highway patrol hand, the 10-4, but it's going to be over and out for him unless he gets very lucky. Evan, 22 years old, was a chip leader tonight, played brilliantly, questionable about the pair of queens laid out, but other than that, very tough player. He's on the ropes right now. And he got very unlucky the last pot against Chino. Can he get lucky here? Well, it's come 7-3, seven, seven, Deuce. We got some runners. Five of spades is pretty gin for you besides the four, yeah, you know? Chino pointing out, giving him some hope. Five would be very fun. What he's looking Five for. A he's a four to take the lead. Nice but things looking dim right now for Evan McNiff. Well, ace of clubs comes off. Now this does give Evan a straight draw, but notice if the five of clubs comes off, Chino will have a flush. So he's looking for a four or a five. That's not a club to win the pot, to stay alive. One five. The freshman needs to get lucky, but he does not. King of hearts comes off. So the 22-year-old Evan McNiff is gonna be our third place finisher. It's okay, it's not a, I would've done the same thing. It's a good game. It's a good game. Good Big luck. effort, going home with 540,000. How can I be so good yet so bad? <laughs> How do I fold the queens when they, oh my God. Disappointed there, sharing that with his friends, and right now, we are down to two players. What he was saying there, how can I make such good plays and then fold those two queens? It's like the poker gods punishing him when he had the ace-jack against the ace-nine. Good luck, sir. Yeah, you too. All right, World Poker Classic, and one of these two guys is gonna join that elite list. And as you can see, they are virtually even in chip count right now. And they are playing for millions here tonight at Bellagio. Go back down to the felt. It's going to be on Justin Young, a former mechanical engineer with a shot of a lifetime. He's got queen four this time. Check. Just going to call. Chino Ream has the queen nine offsuit, and he says, okay, let's have a flop. So nothing aggressive right now. 
And the flop comes nine, eight, six. Chino has flopped top pair and checks. And Justin checks nothing right behind him. When a queen comes off, Ooh, and again, Chino has made the top two pair. This time he leads out and bets 275,000. Problem for Justin is he has hit his pair of queens here. Well, he's going to call him with the two queens. Sure he is. River card coming up. Well, the board pairs eights. So Chino has got queens and nines. He's out front, but he checks here. Advance after a check. Justin probably figures his queens up are the best hand. That call. He's going to make a value bet. 650,000, but he's not going to like it as Chino shows him a better hand. Chino wins the pot with queens and nines. Played that hand rather conservative, but it worked out okay for him. As once again, Chino Ream is our chip leader. Yeah, Chino, a little suspicious of that eight on the river. Perhaps he thought Justin was hanging around with an eight so as well. Thin, so. thin value bet. <laughs> I would have value bet in your spot. Massey he just didn't want to jeopardize a lot of chips in a trap situation, even though he had the top two pair, could have been beat. All right, here we go again. Justin Young with a king five this time. With the button, just calling. Check it. Machino with ace four diamond says, OK, you're going to play peaceful. I am too. And look at this flop. It's come king seven three with two diamonds. Chino has checked. Justin has top pair with two kings, so he's going to bet. Uh, Chino has a four flush, of course. Raise. Yeah, he's going to re-raise. Well, it looks like 1.1 million more. If you're sitting in Justin's seat, you're saying, you know, this guy had king higher, better. Wouldn't he raise me before the flop? That didn't happen. I'm going to raise. So he's going to raise with the two kings. Just doesn't think the aggressive Chino would not raise if he had at least king high before the flop. Three million. Three million more. This is a three million dollar raise, but it doesn't bother Chino. He's going all in with his flush draw. Now that is surprising. So Chino Ream willing to gamble here and risk his tournament life because he knows whatever his opponent has, he can catch a diamond and win this pot. Well, that is really going to put the pressure on Justin now. Yes, he's got top pair, but he has a weak kicker with it. And it's going to cost him all his chips, which is about 6.7 million to make this call. I have no idea where I'm at. Well, there's an honest guy for you. But against Chino Ream, there's a lot of players that say that, Fence. He is certainly putting him through agony. But without a raise before the flop, you know his opponent could have king three, seven three. Best case scenario. And well, Justin does down. lay it down. Yes, yeah, I've heard this happen before. You start talking to yourself, whispering sweet nothings. This is the first sign of delusion at the poker table. Oh, boy. The first step toward the padded cell is what you really mean. Oh, boy. I got to take a look at the Wonder Camp. And the King of Diamonds on the next turn when he made wow. three of a kind for Justin, but a flush, of course, for Chino in the river card with the nine of hearts. Some excellent poker going on here. Here at Bellagio. Stay with us. We're coming back for more. Online tournament fees can add up quickly. Breaking news. Every tournament is rake-free for the month of April on WPT Global. Huh. Where? On WPT Global. Why? We are crazy. Sign up by clicking the link in the description and play tournaments with no fees at WPT Global. Use bonus code YT53 and we will match your first deposit dollar for dollar. No rake. No fees. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Two to one chip lead. He started this heads up battle as a two to one chip underdog. He is now in command. All right, to Justin Young's hand. He's got queen 10. Decent hand. He's just going to call. And he limps in on the button. Chino with a premium hand. Ace king of spade. He's going to raise it a half million. Well, Justin wants to see a flop. Got position. Makes the call. And here comes that flop. It's Jack 10-7. Chino quickly going all in. 
Yeah, but Justin's got a piece of that, Mike. Well, he's got second pair, Vance, but I call. It's about six million more to him, but he made the call with the two tens. He's got the best hand. He pumps the fist. He knows he's got a great chance to double up. Just got to dodge an ace king One or a queen. One that bet might have been just so fast. Chino just bet it so quickly. Sometimes that's the sign of a bluff. Come on now. Whatever happens, good call, Justin. That's exactly Me what too, he man. has. Good game, no matter what. But doesn't mean he's out of this yet. Here comes the turn card. Well, three of clubs comes off, so we are down to the river card. And if Justin break, can dodge an ace king or a queen, he is going to be once again the chip leader in this heads up battle. Justin's wife Morgan biting board. her nails there on the rail. Got to sweat one more card. Well, the five of spade comes off. It works out for them. So Justin clapping. And what a teeter totter match we're seeing. Back and forth we go. Once again, Justin Young takes the chip lead. Yeah, he's got about 13 million. Chino with about nine. And right now, Chino's got the button once again. Lines are 120 and 240, very expensive at this point. Yeah. And Chino with a 10 4 clubs. Yeah, but he's got the Broderick Crawford, as we say, the highway patrol hand, 10 4. And he's going to raise it. 620,000 in total. Justin has an ace high. And just calls with it, does not re raise. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. He's going to get lucky. Oh. It is Justin hitting two pair on the flop, and he's going to check. Chino, however, has flopped a flush draw, so we could see some fireworks here. One player has two pair, aces up, the other with a flush draw. The flush draw betting out 1.2 million. You can bet your life Justin is going to raise right here. I'm going to raise. Yeah, just a matter how much. And you got to make your man pay for it. If he wants to stick around, and Justin's doing just two. that. All right, I'm on. 3.2 million. Call. Chino quickly goes all in, and Justin quickly calls him. He knows if his hand holds up, he's going to take home over 1.5 million and capture a WPT title. Good luck, kid. Hey. Justin Young. The former mechanical engineer, first time at a final table on the World Poker Tour. He's played four WPT events. Could this be his night? He's just a couple cards away. Yeah. Well, Chino's going to have to catch a club or two running cards to make a straight. Two tens and two fours would do it also, but Chino Ream needs some help. Let's see if he can get it. A six of clubs on a turn. Wow, Chino has made the flush. It's not over. If the board pairs, Justin Young will win this pot and take down this tournament. But what a turn Six. card for Chino. He is out in front right now, and if he wins this pot, he'll once again have the lead. Absolute nightmare card for Justin. Can he redeem himself on the river? No. Five of hearts, and now Chino pumps his fist. He outdrew his opponent to again take the chip lead. That's like a dagger in the heart when you know the trophy is on your mantle and the money's in your pocket. If you can just hold a man off, but Justin couldn't do it. Well, a complete disappointment for Justin Young. So close, but he still has some work to do. All right, right back on Chino. And he's picked up a pair of kings here. Unbelievable. Just made a flushed out draw his opponent. Now picks up two kings on the button. He's going to raise it. Makes it 720,000 to go. And Justin Young with a queen five of clubs. Well, Justin just got beat by a club flush a minute ago. I call. And he's going to make the call here. Yeah, he's going to slop around. He's made the call. Well, Justin going way uphill on this hand. Let's see if it works out for him. Flop comes up a queen, three, eight. That's giving Justin top pair. Well, he checks. And Chino, of course, with the over pair of the Kings, is going to bet 1.2 million. Vance, if you're sitting in Justin Jung's seat and you call a raise before the flop with queen high and it comes queen eight three. I'm all in. I don't know what you're going to do here. And there you go. Justin moving all in. Chino quickly calls him. Chino Ream well out in front. Poised to take down his first WPT title. And now it's Justin's turn to get lucky to stay it's alive in this tournament. He's got to catch a queen or a five to take the <laughs> lead. Really Two running so clubs will win it for him also. Well, you Chino like clubs? finally being like, honest here. Like clubs too. He just wants his hand to hold up where he can finally take down a WPT title like most of his buddies have. Here's fourth street. Well, nine of hearts comes off on the turn. You can see Justin doesn't like that card because he knows with one card to go, we must catch exactly a queen or a five. Otherwise, his quest to become a WPT champion is over for tonight. 
Will this be the time for Chino Ream? Will he take down his first WBT title? It all comes down to this card. It's a new today, man. He's done it. Well, that's going to do it. The guy who made the final table at the 2008 World Series of Poker, the famed November 9. He finished seventh there. He comes back. He takes down his first WBT title tonight to justify himself in the upper echelon of poker players in the world. $1,540,000 richer.